What's going on guys, it's Dealer here back again with another video. Today I'm going to teach you how to speed up your Xbox console. Yes, if you have an Xbox One S or an Xbox One X running on a 4K TV, then this could very well speed up any of those systems. So I'm going to teach you how. Uh, it's very, very simple. I actually put this out on Twitter uh, not too, too long ago and a lot of people, um, you know, found really really good results with this uh, and you know for some reason some people are in denial uh, telling others it wouldn't work when it clearly does work if you are already in a 4k TV mode or a UHD resolution setting for your console we can change that and retain all 4k benefits in games and apps just your dashboard will run at a lower resolution not your games and apps and yes this is not a native 4k dash but whatever upscaling it does whatever it is it makes the console slower uh, which was really what i was getting at on twitter so just follow these steps and you should see uh, some pretty good results here so we're going to go to settings of course right now we got to do that go there now uh, i do not have an elgato or i would definitely wrong thing or i would definitely be doing this uh, a different way we're going to go to display and sound uh, and from there as you see we can go over to a video output, uh, all very step-by-step, -step, very simple. Uh, and there's going to be your 4K UHD resolution uh, setting right there. That is what we'll be switching to 1080p. Uh, and as long as this setting here is enabled, allow 4K, boom, it says it right there in the description itself. Even if your console is running at a lower resolution, it allows your games and apps to take advantage of, let's say, your 4K mode in an Xbox One X game or your 4K Netflix, anything like that, you're good to go. It's all independently rendered, so you don't got to worry about uh, system level resolution. You can play your games how you want. So before I do that, maybe it's going to be really hard to kind of show the difference over video uh, because obviously uh, you're looking at it through a screen, through a screen, but there is a very noticeable difference. Everyone I've asked about it has seen a pretty big difference. So right now it's in 4K mode. We'll go to the home dash here and even just going to games and apps. Um, we'll kind of load that up. That was actually pretty snappy because I just recently done it. I'm sure it's in the RAM, but uh, just scrolling through this, you know, uh, you know, it can get boggy, things like that. It's not absolutely abysmal at all times in the 4K mode, and I'm at no means saying that, but even in the store, for instance, um, let's go to new games. I just loaded this too. It's probably still in the RAM pretty good, but uh, it's just, there's, there's like an extra, it seems like 50 milliseconds or so of input lag, and some things just do not load as snappily as they could. Uh, whereas if I go back to the settings and uh, go back into changing the display resolution to 1080p, uh, we should see some very good results there in terms of snappiness. Uh, so now it is in the 1080p mode. I hit the button, boom, go home. It's, I feel like that already loaded faster. Go into games and apps. And then we got boom, and as we scroll through, um, it just seems like things are a little more snappy. Uh, direct input buttons, you know, everything just seems right, more one-to-one -one than usual. Uh, if I go to the dashboard, uh, it will definitely cycle tabs much faster. If I hit the bumpers, it seems like, once it loads everything. And then, and most importantly, if I go back into the store, it seems like, you know, the store loads faster, is more responsive. Like, just compare that to before even. It seems like that's uh, way faster in the store for some reason, which is odd. So, um, you know, maybe some of you might think this doesn't make any sense, and, and that's fine. <laughs> but uh, from my experience, lowering that resolution of the dashboard to 1080p uh, has only made this thing faster. And this is a store right now. Like, in 4K mode, this would never do this. Um, which is really odd, um, but that's just how they they have things set up. So I wanted to throw this out there because a lot of people enjoyed the Twitter the Twitter uh, or the Twitter post rather that I did on this and found success with this. They really enjoyed it, so I figured I would make a video on this and uh, kind of help some of you guys out if you wanted to know how to make your system a little bit faster uh, and more responsive. 
change that system level resolution down to 1080p and then as long as allow 4k is selected uh as long as uh allow hdr selected you will still get those two things independently of the dashboard so you'll still get them in your games your apps but when you go to the dash it'll be whatever 1080p scaling the dash does in that 1080p mode as opposed to that uhd mode which uh shouldn't be a full native uhd there's some kind of upscaling there but whatever upscaling it does do uh does slow down the dashboard and in this 1080p mode it is much more responsive uh i just really got tired of going in the other room on my xbox one s my gears 4s and the, the dashboard was faster on that thing for some reason than it was on my uh on my xbox one x and and we're in the same uhd mode so i'm not really sure why the x dashboard has kind of gotten slower uh maybe the uh, the update team for microsoft are gearing up uh for some good updates and patches on this but it, it's definitely been a problem for a lot of people if it's not been a problem for you that's great uh, i'm not saying it's for everyone but there are a lot of people out there like myself wondering why this dashboard has just slowed down since november 7th 2017 it's never uh you know it, it was it's it's been fastest then than it's ever been on an xbox one x and lowering everything down to this 1080p mode has definitely helped me so i figured i'd bring this out and uh, let you guys know about it you know maybe you don't care or maybe you think yours is fine that's uh 100 fine but if you do notice things are a little boggy try this out and uh let me know what you think uh if it does work for you which that's all i've heard from anyone who's tried it there's definitely a difference uh be sure and comment let me know be sure and hit that like button on this video if it helped you if you learned something here today of course uh share this with as many people as you can that always helps and of course subscribe if you're new i'm dealer i'm out